plaintiff, Eugene Morton Sr., has been a youth football coach for 19 years. And he's never had an issue until he played the defendant's team. Eugene claims the defendant attacked him. So he's suing for his medical bills and pain and suffering. Defendant David Wright says on the day of the incident, Eugene ridiculed a special needs child on his team and then threatened David. So David simply defended himself. He's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Craig Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I am a Connecticut youth football coach. Been coaching about 19 years. I'm volunteering my time for uh, youth uh, kids uh, being raised by single parent homes and grandparents um, from our community. I'm a role model and a mentor, and I take it very seriously. Um, never had a fight. Never had an altercation, never put my hands on anybody. No one's ever put their hands on me until I met Mr. Wright. When did you meet him? Um, we played in an off-season 7 on 7 flag league uh, in June of uh, 2016. Okay. We played them uh, the first time. What was his role? He's a football coach as well. On the opposition? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. He's a football coach. You all him. met June 16th? Uh, we met prior to that in we June. It was, in June, though? It was prior to the incident, though. In June? Weeks. Yes, sir. Okay. A few weeks before the incident, we met. What were you all doing at that time? We were opposing teams. Him? All right. And when you met him the first time, because obviously the, something happened on the second one, how did things go then? On the first occasion, um, Mr. Wright was very vulgar, inappropriate. That's not Obnoxious, true. loud, bullying. And his team won that game, and they were cheating. Uh, there were four other cities that were there, and they all noted that this program was cheating. <laughs> we didn't. We went away quietly, no fuss, no That's much. That's not true. And at this second meeting, which is the date of the incident, all the head coaches came together to discuss the rules and make sure that they were going to be followed this game because every program complained about him. He has That's a not true. He has a reputation <laughs> oh. around that league and in the regular season youth league as yeah. being very, very vulgar, obnoxious and bullying and, intimi and intimidating. Okay. Let me just say, I appreciate your presentation. I'm impressed with your presentation. I'm impressed that you're helping young people develop their lives. And I'm impressed with your demeanor as a coach. And I would certainly uh, have my kids on yeah. you. On the other hand, all this snickering and talking under your breath that you're doing over here, I wouldn't want my kids near you on a football team. Now, you go ahead and tell me what you want me to know, Your Honor, I've coach. been coaching football for 40 years mm -hmm. and helping youth. If I didn't, if I thought, I, I, on this particular occasion, this was what a... occasion? Of the fight. No, I want to back up. He said that the time before okay. that, the game I before understand. that, you were vulgar and uh, your team won, your team cheated, everybody believes you cheated, so much so that on the next meeting there was a coaches meeting and that coaches meeting was triggered as a result of you and your team's activities. Okay. Address that first. Sure. This was a, uh, uh, an instructional seven-on-seven -seven passing league for 11-year-old kids, no records, no winners, no losers. Okay, so his first statement that we won, we cheated, is, is an absolute falsehood. This was an instructional seven-on-seven -seven passing league to help them. So is that true? There's no winner or loser? Your Honor, when they showed up for the second game, they told us what their record was. <laughs> so okay. somebody's true? winning. You somebody. said something no, sure about not. a record? They, no. They, they were, we had no. There were no records, Your They Honor. won every game. Okay. So when they got to the second game, which is the second rotation, they noted that they were undefeated. Anybody have anything that reflects score, I have, uh, wins, losses, Honor, anything that says that? I have that. witness statements. Who are you going to show me made this reference is, to a loss or a win or hearing about a loss I or a win? I submitted a video, which you have, you should have, Your Honor. Is it but going also to indicate this loss statement, or win? This, 
the, the, the video doesn't, but this document does, which she refers it? to our loss in the first game. Who is this? This is the person who shot the videos. He's a parent. Okay, right. a kid who a plays. parent. Yes, oh, yes, sir. All right. They, a parent of his? A parent of a kid on my team. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Now, I, can I continue, yep. Your Honor? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said, I've been doing this for 40 years, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry if I, if, if, I, if I reflected badly in the beginning. But I truly love coaching kids, and that's my, my passion. Now, it, it, I, I believe this video that he's going to show will be telling in the fact that he was ranting and raving on the sideline like a lunatic, all right? I had just had knee replacement three weeks earlier. I Who was, was sitting he in ranting a chair. and raving at? He was just ranting and raving at all the kids. At his kids? My kids. And his kids, he was just ranting and raving. So what happened was, again, it's in an instructional league, Your Honor. I had an 11-year-old special needs kid was my lineman, per se, center. He would throw the ball back to the quarterback. His job on defense was to just stand there and make sure they didn't come across the line. He didn't truly understand all the rules. And he came, touch, this is flag football. He came across the line, okay, and Mr. Morton yelled and screamed and hollered and then came onto the field, okay, and was ridiculing this boy, okay. What was he saying? You're a cheater and you're a Okay? You're right. All right? And then right. it'd be... He's, he's and that, totally telling a lie, and the video was shown. That yeah, I, I, is a, I'm, I'm okay, waiting for the video, so the that's video. why I have to say. Yeah. All right. Now, I told him to leave the kid alone, okay. just to explain to him what had happened. All right? He continued. Then he came at me. Again, I was not capable of going anywhere but standing up from my chair at the time. All right? He came at me. He was right in my face, yelling and screaming and pointing. I felt threatened. I pushed him away. He proceeded to lay me out and then begin a brawl. Your Honor. Okay, now I, I, I'm, I'm, this, this I'm more than happened. willing to watch the video, which is gonna show this. You tell me what happened. When they started losing this game, they started sending the kid on a blitz across the line of scrimmage. There is no offensive lineman. There are nobody blocking. You cannot rush the passer, the quarterback. So when they started losing, they had the kid start chasing the quarterback. It's on the tape. Again, Your Honor, may I... Quiet, sir. Okay. No, it's his turn. You're saying that he had the kid yes. do something illegal Correct. or against the rules. How this do you kid know he... Put his Hold hand on. The... How do you know he had the kid do it? How because do you he know wasn't he told doing him? it you when they him? were losing. They didn't start doing it but until we started winning. How do you know he winning. told them to? Not him per se, but his team. Got it. Not him per se. Not but as the coach, he would say, stop. Yeah. No, sir. Go ahead. So, as on the video will show you, this kid is chasing our quarterback. And so, we paused the game. I went to the head coach or the person that was a part of that meeting in the beginning of the game, and the head coach agreed with me. You'll see him pat me on the back and say, you're right, coach, and tell the kid to stop it and knock it off. What this guy is talking about is an absolute lie. And then, the only voice you can hear is this guy yelling, cursing, and screaming. And so, with my hands to my side, I'm talking to him as I'm talking here, the same conversation I had with the head coach. The head coach didn't push me or put his hands on me. This guy struck me. He crossed the line in front of these kids. I have never been hit in 19 years. I have never been in a fight in 19 years. And he crossed the line, and what happened was, uh, he was yelling, cursing. You can hear him cursing on the video. You're going to see it. And then you see him struck. I'm standing there talking. You see me flying back out of the way like, did he just hit me? And then I proceeded to defend myself. I have a bunch of witness statements from people who are here. How many? Uh, two others besides the one I just gave you. Of people who were present. This is a result of what happened, Your Honor, when they ripped my shirt off after. Who you say they. This gentleman here and one of his um, coaches or parents who ran in onto the field of play. You don't, you don't put your hands on somebody in a youth football organization. You've crossed the line when you've done that. Let me see the video. See the kid with his hand in the dirt? He, he, and so I turn my back to the kid to demonstrate what he's doing. I'm not talking to the kid at all. You see the head coach come. Me and the head coach, that's the head coach right there. He told the kid, don't do it again. And then, that's, now, this, this is, is him Wright. coming after me. The only voice you can hear is Mr. Wright. I got my hands to my side. No, oh, I saw you pushing, sir. I didn't, I've never denied you pushing. You are the aggressor, sir. Can't put your hands I'm on I'm not there anybody. to fight. When there's a fight, the question becomes, who is the aggressor? The aggressor is the person who puts their hand on someone first. 
And that's what you just did. Secondly, I did not see him talk to that child at all. At all. What's your counterclaim, sir? How does he owe you? Emotional distress. I had, he, you know, again, you can look at it any way you want. I have a letter from a parent and my statement, all right? Uh, your say, counterclaim is dismissed. I don't believe anything you're saying. You're becoming contemptuous. You're talking crazy to me now. Judgment for the plan. Thank you, Your Honor. I just hope that Mr. Wright understands what we're out there for. We're mentoring, role modeling, and coaching youth football. We're not out there to be fighting and yelling and screaming and cursing. He has no decency and no caring for youth.